Hi everyone, my name is uh, Licious Matia. Um, not sure if uh, you all know it or some of you may know I'm the founder of uh, My Hero Foundation. And uh, I'm just going to be giving some of my commentary here as I play um, some of these videos um, um, filming that we did while I was uh, in Freetown, Sierra Leone, trying to implement um, the organization, vision, and strategy um, for the first time. Okay, so what, what um, the teacher here is explaining is um, initially we didn't really know what strategies we were trying to take as far as selecting students to help. And, you know, so right here in the beginning, this is the very first video. Um, when I went to the school, I had a meeting with the principal. And then right after the meeting, the discussion, I started taking a tour around the classroom. So one of the things I wanted to do, I wanted to survey each form, one, two, three, just um, up to 30 students, from one, two, three, as, as, they, as they came, in their results, you know, going to the next form. So it, it doesn't have to be, I'm looking for one, two position positions. So well, seven, 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 those are definitely want to take a look at their situations, you know, because obviously they have a little bit more efforts in the internal learn. Um, but I also want to go further than that. I want to pick students' brains, those, because um, you may not necessarily come for a second or third, but your circumstances, may prevent you to do that. So, you know, so that's why I want to be on first, second, and third. So, for example, this class, um, I have up to 30 surveys that I can even be handing out um, to students in here, um, depending on, we can figure out maybe later who, what positions, how the situation is. I'm sure, you know, not everybody in here is well off, you know, because um, I'm from this place, you know, I was, uh, I was born here, I went to this school, so I know, I know most of you guys, uh, you, you get off school, you have to go work, and then here, so it makes it a little bit more hard on you. So, um, I, I guess, I don't know, even if you have time now, we could, we could give uh, some forms so that, that they can kinda, the form is really just to pick their brains, it's simple questions, there's no, there's no wrong answer, you know, it's just about what you want to accomplish in life kind of thing, you know. I'm looking for just simple sentences, you know, just to pick the brains and stuff like that. So, so you want to give them the first round? Yeah, we could. We, you have enough forms for the I, yeah, I, do, I do have enough forms for the problem now. Because we're having the sport. After the sport, after okay. the sport, we're going to empty. Okay. That's to get the uh, people that you want to be really in hand. You cannot get in now. But we can always get those later too. That's yes. not about it. For those we want now to fill the form, uh -huh. are they going to be part of that help? Well, that's that's why we're filtering. It's the dirty is it's it's just trying to pick kids, you know. By yeah, I mean I could pick a kid that's really really less fortunate, but if they're not applying themselves, trying to learn, I mean, what good is what good is that going to do with the resources, you know? So that's why I want to kind of see pick your brain. You could be less fortunate. But are you really trying, you know? Are you trying to learn? Are you re are you, when you go home, are you picking a book to read or are you only doing it in school? That type of stuff, you know? So, it, it, I mean, we could always come back later um, and, and maybe check out the other forms if, if this one is not ready. But it's just uh, something that we, we want to do first, just get a survey 
of students. Uh, we can always take a look at the other ones that are not here too. Let's check the other forms, then that's how we can meet the other Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We have 13 classes. Oh, 13, okay. But he's looking for form 2 and form 3. Because yeah. form 1, they are just coming. Okay, so yeah, so um, we're leaving this form now, you know. Over here, we call them classes. Over here in Freetown, they call them forms. It's an F O R M. Form 1, Form 2, 3, 4, and so on. So I'm just taking a tour in each classrooms just to kind of get a feel of the students, you know, um, how we're going to survey the students, how we're going to select students, because I'm looking for a total of 60 students that we could try to sponsor the education and, and help them in any way we can, financially, emotionally, um, just to motivate them. So, you know, to be well to do in the ages of life. So, and this was the very beginning of this um, project. And uh, over here, the lady on the left, uh, her name is Mrs. Wicks. Um, I think she's one of the head teachers in the, in the, in the school next to the principal. And the other guy is um, a teacher that was very actually helpful and instrumental. In, in taking this tour, because he was right, um, he was he was right next to me, side by side, as I was entering um, these classrooms. It was Mrs. Weeks is leaving now. Yeah. So, so, so every time. I went into the classrooms, the students would, would stand up and greet and have a greeting as, a, as somebody coming in the classroom that's new for the first time. It's they're, they're trained and disciplined that way in, in the schools. It seems like it's a general um, thing for the, the schools in, in, in Sierra Leone when a visitor comes in the class that's not uh, a teacher or any kind of school personnel as a stranger, the students are supposed to stand up and greet um, that individual for coming into the class. Yeah, yeah. So he's explaining. Um, I was really trying to survey the students that day, but it, it seems like there was a holiday was coming around the corner, so a lot of classes were empty. So as I was touring, um, there, there weren't too many students in, in school, I guess. They're, they're, they're greeting again. <laughs> Incredible. So um, he keeps, so if you notice, he keeps saying we're looking for first, second, and third every time we goes into a class. Because in the beginning, that was um, the, the idea was to to select the first, second, and third students in each class who were performing up to par. Because in some sense, maybe it made sense for us to do that to select the smartest students in the class. But um, in the end, we decided not to do that because it, it almost seems like it was an unfair thing to do. Um, it was an unfair thing to do because it, it especially in a developing nation, in a developing uh, uh, country like Sierra Leone, 
when you go in the school and try to help um, students, a lot of times the students that are really performing and doing well in class, a lot of times it tends to be because those students are a little bit more well off, if, um, if this makes sense at all. When you're doing too good in school, a lot of time your, your folks are probably, they have a little bit more money, you know? Um, they have a, a car, they have a house that's theirs. Um, they probably have a job, a really good job in the government or, or some kind of business doing good so they can afford to support their kids, stay at home and study. Oh yeah, so this is one of the head um, teachers right here, the, the, the guy that I'm having a conversation with that I just had by the, by the door. So you attended this yeah, school? Yeah, primary. primary. This year? Uh, I think 95, 96. I was uh, 11, 12 years old, kind of, um, I did. Did you sit to the NPS in here? I, I believe so, but and the results never came. The rebels, I, my mother... That was, was the height of the rebels. Yes, yeah, that's it's when they were planning on coming to the... The capital. name again? Anishas. Anishas what? Anishas Matia. Matia, yeah, yeah. It was a long time. Can you remember any male teacher? <laughs> I was I was really young, so it's my. I'll tell you this: my my step my stepmother was working at this school too. And her name was Nancy Nancy uh, Matias. Same thing. She had my my father's last name, but it was a long time, so I, would, I, mean, I wouldn't expect you guys. So and now you guys have a secondary school too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. So um, we brought the secondary school in 2005. 2005, okay. just after the war. Oh, I see. That's that's fantastic. You know, I'm back in the states. I just finished my master's. So before I want to start my career, I want to come and implement this program first. It's a really passion of mine. school, maybe a few more from the other schools to, to, to implement the program. Yes, sir. Thanks so much. I mean, uh, what a, uh, the, this is a second school. Uh, you are doing two to primary school. Well, for right now, it's just a secondary school. Because oh, right. we want to be able to, to keep track of the students. It's a lot more easier to keep track of the students, the progress, you know, to kind of really see, because this is the stage that they start to make decisions on their own, they think on their own. So uh, that's why I think it's important. It was, uh, the, the secondary of form one, two, and three. So um, as time goes on, we may look at other areas, to, but we just want to have a focus, not, not to spread out. And, and we want to be able to make All right, yeah, so that, that gentleman was really a, a very nice guy. Um, I think, as you can see, I was having a conversation with him. It was the, I believe, yes, the head teacher. Because um, in, in the very end, when I came back to the school, I also had a conversation with him because the, the headmaster principal wasn't there. So I didn't really, I only met with the principal once, and that was the first time I went there, which was today. I met with the principal. We had a conversation, and she, uh, she basically introduced me to another a few more head teachers who she wanted me to work with and 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 um, the guy the gentleman I was just talking to was one of those head teachers um, and then as time goes on you you guys will see uh, the relationship I was building with other teachers as well uh, in the school